Hi everyone. Um, I'm happy to present our research on interpretability of answers for visual dialogue. This research is really a result of a great collaboration with Amin Ali from Tel Aviv University and with the supervision of Lior Wolf and Idan Schwartz from Tel Aviv and the Technion. My name is Noam and I'm a co-founder and a CTO at Agora, a startup based in uh, Tel Aviv. So the main motivation behind our research is to study explainability techniques for different answers in the visual dialogue task. Now, as you know, the visual dialogue problem um, is a primary task of artificial intelligence, and it features multiple modalities. We have the, with the caption of the image, the image itself, um, the question and conversation history. And using those, these modalities, the task is to find the most correct answer. Right? But there are many cases where the question has multiple correct answers, and we would love to understand the cause of why the model rated one answer higher than the others. And this is what we're basically trying to do here. We study techniques to interpret different answers for the same question and derives relevance scores per candidate answer. Now, attention is the mainstream tool for interpretability to visual dialogue models. However, it can't explain the factors that lead to a certain answer. It is not a class dependent. Now let's see the differences in this great example below. So given a question, what color are the elements? On the left side, we can see that the attention doesn't really explain well why it chose us back as the answer. The model looked on all the elements, all the elements um, no matter if it's black or red. On the other end, our method managed to extract better the energy distributions um, of the model based on different chosen answers. So on the right answer, the model chose black as the answer and we can see that the region of the red element was less noticeable uh, than the one, in, the one in the black. But when the model shows black and red as the answer, the attention was distributed between the two colored elements. To do this cool thing, we first use LRP. So the LRP is an attribution propagation method which are justified uh, theoretically by the deep tail decomposition framework. And what LRP does is decompose in a recursive manner the decision made by the network into the contributions of the previous layers all the way to the elements of the network's input. And at the end we get these relevancy heat maps for each modality. Here we can see key formulas to understand this method. I'll go over it uh, briefly. The first formula is the LRP equation which shows the flow of relevancies between the layers of the network. And the second formula is the deep tail decomposition where LN is the layer's operations on two tensors X and Y. Typically, the two tensors are just the input and the weights, and it satisfies the conservation rule on the right side. We employ our method to factor graph attention. Um, FGA is inspired from graphical models and generates an attention map for each modality such that all the elements can interact. Um, and in the visual dialogue, dialogue task, we have 25 modalities. So one for each question and answer history, one for the question, for the answer, for the caption, for the image. And at last, we did uh, what we did is, is combining the, the LRP method with the FGA model. So the FGA uses the concept of a belief vector. Um, and you can think of it as the aggregation of messages from all pairwise factor dependencies sent to one utility. And with that belief vector, we then have the attendant vector representation of utility i. We take this equation and we use LRP where the left side acts as the role of the weight and it is the influence of the different modalities. And the right side acts as the input x for LRP and it is the relevancy for the solution of the task. We also studied how much predictive power each modality has or how easy is it to prove an answer's um, correctness based on a specific modality. So the interdistance is the earth mover's distance between the top 10 answers most relevant regions. If the interdistance is low, it means uh, the modality is not a good way to explain the answer. Like the question, for example. Because the relevance is stable across different answers. The inter-entropy measure the spread of relevance across modality. High entropy indicates the relevance map, on average, is not focused. 
Here is another nice example where you can see that the machine wasn't focused on the pizza when the question was, can you see the pizza? It looks at the image and the fork, and the machine answers no. So with that, thank you very much, and please contact us for any other questions.